What's going on folks? ST here and today we're going to be looking at a new Mount Lung RTA. Today we're going to be looking at the Anani or Anani, however you pronounce it there. But these were sent to me from Asmodus for the purpose of this review. So let's go down, see what you're going to get in the box. Then we're going to come back up top, vape on it and give you my final thoughts. So let's go check this one out. All right, so here is the packaging that the Anani Mount Lung RTA comes in. What you're going to get in the package? A little screwdriver, some extra O-rings there, and two additional post screws. You're also going to get this little bag of the Ani coils, these little Mount Lung coils. Now, they sit here and suggest that these are for salt nick, but I have been using these for higher nicotine and not salt nick. Let's get that to the side. So, here is the Anani RTA, and you can see this is quite a different little animal here. Let's zoom on in this one right here. So. As you can see here at the bottom, you've got your laser marking. This is a 24 millimeter RTA. It holds two mils of juice. As you can see right there, the drip tip on this thing, this is what makes this little thing right here shine. It does come in three different colors. It comes in a stainless, black, and gold. It is a top fill, and you need to be a little careful of this one. This is not a drip tip that pulls off. It actually screws off. See, you've got that little bit of threading right there. I do like how they did this, though. And you can see you've got your little fill porch right here. Kind of a strange setup for filling this, but this will fit most tips. And again, like I says, it, it will hold two mils of juice. So let's put this tip back on. Now, to get to the deck on this, now here's one thing I want to point out. So if you just got this, you need to be real careful when opening it. And you want to be over a table when doing it. And this is the reason why. So just grab it here at the bottom. See that little piece right there? And I'll show you what that is in just a second. But let's take that out. Now before we get to the deck in this piece, I'll show you the inside here. Real nicely done. You can see here's where your juice is going to come from. You've got that very, very little tight diameter right there that gives this thing a awesome draw on it. As you can see that that tip is very closed in there. So let's look at the deck. So of course it is a single coil. Now one thing I want to point out about this right here, this is where your airflow is at. It is not adjustable. And really, that makes for a good thing on this little RTA right here because the way it is set up, to me, it is perfect. Now, that little piece you just seen come out right here is an air diffuser, and it goes down there in the middle. Now, this should be installed already, I would guess, when you get it but more than likely it might not be. And I really don't know if they are putting these on before they're shipped out or if they're just setting them in there and letting you make that choice. But I've got to say, this thing is small and if you have large hands, it is a bit of a task getting that on. There's no easy way of doing it. I can tell you, if you do find an easy way, leave a comment below and tell me about it. Now, I have been running the black version of this, 
and I did get it on. It took me a little bit of time and some patience, but I finally got it. But that is a very tight area to get into. But you can see, real easy to put a build on this one. And I'm sorry, folks, I'm going to disappoint you on this video. I'm not going to do one of my musical builds. But what I am going to do is show you the black one that I have been using with the coil in it already. And that'll show you where you would want to be at on coil placement with this one. But it's real easy. I mean, for something like this right here, you just want to trap your lead on this side and this side. Screw down your post screws right here and then just snip your leads here off the side. Make sure you get it as close as you can. So when you screw that back on, nothing's touching. But again, very easy. And when you wick this, you just want to use a very little piece of cotton and tuck it down into there and you are good to go. I do like the build quality on this one. This thing feels pretty heavy duty for such a small little RTA. But that is the coil I've been running on mine. And again, you have this little single airflow hole right here. It is not adjustable. You get what you get. As you can see, I've got that diffuser in there. Now, you can run it without the diffuser, which I have not done. But for something like this right here, I kind of want this as restrictive as it'll get. I don't know how much more of a difference the diffuser is making, but I'm certain it is giving it a little bit more, just a little bit more of a restrictive hit on it. And I got to say, with it in, I have really been enjoying it. But real easy to build on. A very, very easy to wick. Put you some juice on it and you are good to go. But folks, that is the Anani RTA. Something else I'd like to kind of point out about this one. I really do like the Ultim Tops that they're using on here. This is just a different looking RTA right here. You, you don't you don't really see much like this out on the market. It looks more of a higher end type atomizer to me. Some people might not be crazy about the looks, but I just think this thing looks sharp. And the vape, woo! Well, we'll talk about that when we go back up top. But yeah, very nice, very small and compact. Now they do suggest that, you know, this is something that people might want to use more of a, a salt nick through or anything. I have not used salt nick in this. I have strictly been running higher nick. And it has been, well, let's talk about that when we go back up top. But there you go, folks. The Anani RTA. So let's go back up top and I'll give you my final thoughts. All right, and we're back. Of course, what other time is it? We got a lot to talk about on this one. Well, not a lot. But, first off, let me say, Asmoda sent two of these, two different colors. When they came in, I looked at them, I popped both of them open to see, you know, what colors they had sent, what they looked like. Broke them down and automatically realized that that little air diffuser piece I showed you had worked its way out on both. Or it just never was screwed in properly. Now I gotta say, my hands are fairly large. And it was a bit of a task of getting that little piece back in there screwed in. So, if you get one of these, you are somebody that has larger hands, don't give up on it. It takes a little bit of patience and time, but you can get that piece back in. For some people, they might get it back in in no time flat. It took me a little while to get that one maneuvered back in. I know a few others have had the same issue, but 
really that kind of follows into where things that I don't even want to say I dislike but upset me a little bit for some people they're not even going to run that air diffuser but I would think most people are because at the end of the day the way that this one's designed and set up the way that the drip tip itself has that just a little bit of an opening you've got this one little airport at the bottom and with the diffuser in the mouth to lung vape you can get off of this thing is unreal it is let me get another vape it has that perfect restriction to it I know everybody is searching for the perfect uh, the perfect hit off a of vaping device <laughs> I think I found one for you mouth lungers this one right here I've got to say they nailed it with this one now another little story that I will give you about this so months ago I was working on my own project and the one thing that I was trying to tell the company I was working with what I was wanting I wanted a drip tip design like this I wanted it just where there was barely a hole in it where it would make it very restrictive almost simulating like you were taking a draw off of a cigarette they killed it with this one right here when I seen the tip on this I was like oh my god that's what I was trying to tell this other company I was working with but of course we know that project never happened so again the way that everything is designed and the way it works with one another hand in hand on this myself I think it is almost 100 percent perfect airflow on it I love it it's not loud it doesn't make a bunch of crazy noises it just it feels like that perfect hit on there especially for you those of you that are looking for that the perfect mouth to lung draw this is it right here so but again I kind of fall back on the other side now I understand it is a mouth to lung device but I feel like I'm filling this thing up constantly it just it feels like it drinks the juice up quicker than what maybe a typical mouth to lung atomizer does I just I find myself filling this one up a lot more so I wish the capacity was a little greater on it but I will actually let that suffer for the draw that I'm getting off of it so hey sometimes you gotta give and take so but anyway this one right here easy to build on again the only thing that you might have a little bit of an issue with is that dif that air diffuser and for some people again it might go good for some others it might be a little bit of a battle getting that on people with bigger hands tend to maybe have a little bit more issues there with some very little small minute pieces but it happens so if you're interested in getting one of these, I know Asmodus has it on their site. They are going for the $29 range, $29, $30 range, somewhere in there. So go over there and check it out if you're interested. But that's really all I got on this one. It is a great, a great little mouth lung RTA. Trust me on this one right here. It is definitely a great one. So, and a good price also. I'm even going to give it at this. Cosmetics on it. Cosmetics is pretty, looks pretty good too. So you see I got it riding on the Chroma R here. I kind of switch swap out sometimes. But well folks that's all I got on this one. I hope you enjoyed the video. Again if you're somebody that's looking for that perfect draw on a mouth to lung RTA. Definitely give this one, give this one a look right here not a bad price at all and again it, it has got that perfect hit on there so i'm out of here if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you're not subscribed hit that subscribe button Woo! i got more stuff to do so i'm gonna try to get at it y'all have a good one